Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Came In. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to enable the virtualized technology on your computer, Windows 10 or 11. So you have to enter the BIOS menu to actually enable this. So what I want to do is go down to the Windows Start button right here and select this and go to Settings. So we can select it under here. Otherwise, if you know how to get into it by restarting your computer, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go down to Windows Updates. And then I'm going to go to Advanced Options. And then I am going to go to where it says Recovery. Then we can go to Advanced Startup right here. Go to Restart Now. And then go to Restart. And this will launch your computer into a blue screen. And we can get to the BIOS menu by doing this. So it says please wait, it might take a while. So keep waiting and then the blue screen should pop up depending on how quick your computer is. Mine usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds and then I can see the screen. And then I can jump into the BIOS menu. So let's just keep on waiting right here. Then let's go to where it says troubleshoot. Go to UEFI firmware settings. Now we can restart. And finally, our computer is going to restart now into the BIOS menu. So a little bit extra steps, but you don't have to guess which F key to press when you restart your computer. And you don't have to time that up. This will just launch it directly into this. Now you're looking for an option called like system configuration or something like that. And we're going to want to go into that. So we're going to use our number pad to move around. Our arrows right here. And then we're looking for virtualized technology. And I believe it's also called VTD capabilities right here. So you could just disable that and you should be good to go. Uh, here it is, Intel uh, Virtualized Technology. When enabled, VMM can utilize additional hardware capabilities provided by vendor pool technology. So you can enable this or disable this right here. So just look for that option. It should be under like system configuration. Mine's under advanced. So we can scroll on down here. Let's go to here, see if there's any other options. Well, once you have that enabled or disabled, you should be good to go. So let's escape. Then we can look under here. So you might have to look around and then go on over to save and exit and save changes and reset and go to yes and your computer will restart. But hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your 6 Gaming.